All right, what I have here is a 2017 Chevy Express van. This is a short chassis, 2500 series, three quarter ton van. Converted by the Explorer Van Company out of Warsaw, Indiana. This is an SE package with exposed running boards, high top. Fairly well loaded up on the inside. I apologize if you hear the wind. I'm trying to speak up so that you can hear it and keep the, my phone somewhere that I can view the van. It's windy out here today. We're in the middle of January in Ohio. Um, body wise, this van is exceptionally clean. Wheels are clean, tires are great. They probably have about 75% tread left on them, I would say. The only thing I see on the outside of the van, it is losing its chrome on the molding, which is really typical for these conversion vans. You can see it uplifting there. That is the extent of the body wear. I don't see any dings, dents, scratches, or anything on the passenger side whatsoever. Very clean. Back bumper looks clean, not all dinged up. Back doors aren't all dinged up. Very, very light scuff right there. Looks like it'll come out. Yeah, it's coming off with my thumb even. Um, does have your class three hitch, seven and four pin connections there. Driver's side again looks really good. I don't see any dings, dents, scratches, or problems with the bodywork. It does have a scratch on the running board right about there that I'll get up close and personal with. Tires, great again. Uh, the wheels are have no damage whatsoever. Here's the scratch on the running board on this side. And looks like the chrome has started on this side as well. It's not peeling yet, but it is separating from the plastic underneath, as you can see. Very, very common on these. No damage across the front. Let's get you on the inside. It does have two-tone gray. It's graphite and gray, I believe is what they call it. it. does have your seat extenders too, so what that enables is a little more travel for the seat going backwards in case you're fairly tall. It'll give you more leg room than the factory van. Uh, you can see the seats here are uh, graphite and gray, and I don't see any rips, tears, or punctures in the seats. They all smell like they're supposed to. Uh, does this, the van doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked in or used to transport animals or pets or anything along that line. Center console is removable and does have the cooler, along with heat and air controls and your game console hookup there. We have your three cup holder in the front, 12 volt power, trash control, airbag, OnStar, 110 volt, 5 volt, and 12 volt power in the front. Does have your touch screen navigation with your with your front heat and air controls as well as defrost. There is your rear heat and air controls along with your heat rear lighting, your lower ceiling and cabinet lights. Tow haul mode, manual shifting if you need it. There's your odometer, 29.9, I'm sorry, 29.819 right now. This van has manual uh, incline and recline seats. The bottoms are power in the front but they're manual incline and recline, just so you're aware. And they are not heated. It does not have heat. This fan is not heated. Sorry about the wind. Hope you can hear what I'm saying. Again, manual seats on their recline and incline. Leather, non-heated. They are power in every, every other way. Looks like the blinds are in great shape. Doors look good. Footwell looks good. Again, it smells fine. It smells like you would expect. Nice and clean. There's your wireless headphones for your entertainment. Overhead 29 inch TV with surround sound and storage above. There's your center console. It does have your game console hookup if you want it. More heat and air, rear, more rear heat and air controls. Your DV player and some storage. There's some storage over there for your headphones or whatnot. Uh, does have floor mats and the seats are swivel and quick release. So they swing to the side like that and they will also disconnect so you can pull the captain's chairs, these two, out of the van at any time. They are not power and they're not heated. There's your storage. So you've got four headphones total. Your dimmer switch on your mood lighting. All the blinds are down. They look good. I don't see any staining on them. All the seats are in good shape. Carpet's not all stained up. Television with your surround sound speakers here and there. Of course, it has storage here. There's five glove boxes all around the top. All right, and then you have your overhead. Small amount of storage 
in the uh, five glove boxes back here. Rear surround sound, rear heat and air vents, more storage in the, in the center there. Rear sofa bed. Charging station in the back, has on both sides. And I'll show you the functionality of the sofa bed. Your heat and air controls are. Have all the books for your aftermarket equipment that was not installed by General Motors. Floor mat, of course. Carpet's in good shape. Does have a stain or something on the seat belt there. Power outlet and your jack storage is in here. Here's your power sofa bed. It does adjust for leg room, forward and aft, as well as recline fully down into the sleeping position. All right. All right, I'm gonna get this video uploaded and I'll get you the link sent out. Dave Green, 937-440-5793, Arbogast Conversion Van Sales. Thanks.